Hey church family, I want to give a big shout out of thanks to our resident live action photographer, Daniel Ayala, for the photo he snapped while he was in the checkout line at the Vons in Eagle Rock. I thought it was a good cover picture for today's Daily Devo. In case you didn't see it, here it is. As you can see, on one rack is a special issue of Life magazine that focuses on how the lessons, miracles, and devotion to Jesus has changed the world. On the other is an issue that claims to be a bestseller devoted to witches and their secretive and mysterious practices. Now, I have no idea which magazine, no pun intended, will sell more copies, but clearly in order for the publishers to devote an issue to each, they must be hoping that there's an interest in both topics. When it comes to where we turn for advice, the Bible is very clear about the fact that none of us has a patent on all truth. So when it comes to making decisions, it's important that we seek counsel. Proverbs 11 says, Where there is no counsel, the people fail. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Two things that the Bible makes very clear are the benefit of godly counsel and the damage of ungodly counsel. Proverbs 12 says, The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The fact is, if you look hard enough, you can always find someone who will tell you what you want to hear. As we evaluate the advice we receive from others, we ought to ask, does this advice align with the character and nature of God and the ways that he's portrayed in his word? We should test the counsel we receive from others against what God has already revealed in black and white within the Bible. Ultimately, our trust should never be in the person who's giving us their advice, but rather in the God who, through His Holy Spirit, can use people to help guide us along the path of life. In James 1, we're told, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. I pray that each of us, when we're facing a difficult decision, would turn to what God has already revealed to us in His Word, and if the answer there isn't clear, we turn to Him in prayer to ask Him to help us to discern between wise and foolish counsel and always remain humble enough to ask others for help when we need it. Amen.